guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been five years since I did my last video. My computer has been so horrible to me, but I will be getting a new one. Um, but let's just jump straight into the video. If you would like to see how I did this makeup look, then please keep watching. <laughs> today I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match in this shade, I believe this is beige, um, and I'm just going to apply that all over my face using my Beauty Blender. concealer in the shade vanilla I'm just going to go in and mark out where I want highlighted and concealed so I'm just going to do that under my eyes um, the bridge of my nose basically my t-zone area um, before I mark out my contour lines <laughs> today I'm using the Stella contour sticks I've had this for I feel like it's been maybe a year now but I am obsessed with it as you can see it is near its end so I probably need to go get another one um, the texture for this is just really creamy and smooth and just glides on my skin I'm obsessed with it <laughs> Australis banana powder and I'm just going to put that under my eye to sit and bake while I do my eyeshadow. <laughs> darkest shade there and I'm just going to brush that and blend that out nicely um, just under my cheekbones and then I'm going to go back in with the Australis banana powder and I'm just going to use that to carve out my cheekbones. <laughs> Tati's Pro Palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Innocent and I'm just going to blend that out into my crease. <laughs> to use my big fluffy blending brush um, once I've applied product to blend that all out. <music> blend 
blended and there are no harsh lines, I'm going to go in with the colour No Filter. How cute are these names though? Um, and I'm just going to work that into my crease. Um, again, once that's worked into my crease, I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just get rid of any harsh lines and make sure everything is transitioning smoothly. <music> outer corners of my eyelid um, and up into the crease again and just work that in towards the middle um, just to smoke out the eye a little bit and so that when I put the cut crease in um, it pops and it stands out just that little bit more. <music> my beauty desk is I will always lose something when I'm doing my makeup I hate it and I'm so organized I swear my desk is spotless <laughs> Of course, I am using the NYX Full Coverage Concealer to carve out my cut crease. Um, like I've said before and in my past videos, I normally like to carve out where I want the outer parts of my cut crease to be and then I'll go back in and fill it in. Um, it is, like I said before, again, a good idea to start off lower because you can always add to the cut crease. Don't go super high and then have to go back. Um, and redo your eyeshadow because that will be a nightmare. So always start out low. You can always um, work the concealer up if you feel like you want your cut crease to go a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to carve that out and then go back and fill it in. <laughs> I feel like this Urban Decay Moon Dust Glitter Palette needs its own separate video. It is amazing. If you have not swatched this palette, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You need to go in and swatch this palette. The colors are to die for. The pigment is so rich and it goes on so smoothly. I'm obsessed with it. I'm just using this light pink color here and I'm just going to go over um, the NYX concealer that I used to carve out the crease. Um, this color does pop a lot more than it does in the video. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see um, the pigment a little better there. <music> into my lower lash line just to tie um, all my eyeshadow in together nicely. Um, I am using a very very thin brush at the moment because I'm going to go back in with the color vamp from the same palette um, to create the cat line. So I'm just starting out on the inner parts of my eyelid just under the tear duct 
and I'm just going to draw a small sharp line um, bringing that up directly to under my waterline and then dragging that all the way to the outer parts of my eye. Um, the brush is very thin and small because you do want these lines to be very precise and we do need them very sharp. <music> doing the other eye you want to keep them looking as similar as possible and you want them to mirror as closely as possible as well so that your eyes do look even um, the more you drag out that inner line that you can see me doing just there the bigger your eyes will look and the more of a cat eye obviously you will have um, I am keeping mine pretty small because I did do a cut crease as well so I didn't want my eyes too dramatic um, but yeah keep your lines nice and sharp and even Using a small brush, I'm just going to go back in with that same pink that I used from the Moon Dust palette and I'm just going to work that pink um, into the outer parts of my tear duct there and just above my cat eye line. Again, this just helps my eyes look a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to go back in with some mascara and get those eyelashes ready for some falsies. <laughs> And of course I am using the Ardell Wispies. I'm so obsessed with them. I talk about them all the time. Um, they're just a really natural looking lash. They are so comfy and they're affordable. <laughs> big fluffy brush I'm just gonna go back in and get rid of all the excess um, from the Australis banana powder that we put on earlier to bake and I'm gonna use that same brush just to blend everything in together nicely <laughs> highlighter I'm going to be using the Nicole Guerrero glow kit I am still as obsessed with this as I was when I first got it these colors are so freaking amazing I don't know if you can still get your hands on it um, via Sephora online but if you can do it it is amazing um, so I'm just going in with the color daydream which is the orangey highlight that she has in her kit um, and I also decided to go in with the shade kitty cat which is the pinkish tone um, there's not really a color on here that I wouldn't use or haven't used yet. But I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones, my brow bone, and of course the bridge of my nose. my lips with the Essence Lip Liner in the shade Satin Mauve. I think I've spoken about these on my channel before. This is literally a $2 lip liner and it's live. It's amazing. Thank you Essence. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use that color to line my lips and then I'm going to go in with the same pencil just to fill them in. Um, and to give my lips a little something extra, I've gone in afterwards with the Napoleon Curtis Luminous Lip Bell Overcoat. Um, I don't know what shade this is. There's not a shade on here. Unless Overcoat is the name of the shade. Cat could be my bad. Um, so yeah, that finishes off the makeup look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, like I said, I should have a, another computer by the time I get back from holiday, but I will be, I think I'm going to video and vlog while I'm away so that I can do a um, holiday vlog because they look like fun. Who doesn't want to relive their holiday? Um, and so you guys can see what I've been up to. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Bye.